The Australian Poetry Slam is a national program for writers who perform. I'm from Adelaide, South Australia, by way of Washington, D.C., in the U.S. And let's see, I started doing poetry when I was like 11. I used to deal with kind of teenage angst, as is usually the case. I do like having an audience that you know is listening to you. I think there's something to be said about that. But also just having an opportunity to actually articulate myself without interruption, just kind of get my, my feelings out to the world. It's really meaningful to me. I'm currently in grad school at Carnegie Mellon University getting my master's in public policy and I'd like to be a policy analyst and elected official one day, which is what my poem's about, so <laughs> hopefully you see that. Lately I've been thrust into conversations about religion with my atheist or non-believing friends. Ironically, they preach to me like their beliefs are so airtight and I need to seek enlightenment, but they don't know. I've been searching for truth in life, Priest said I should instead search for proof of Christ. I chose to listen, so yes, I am a Christian, but no, I'm not a bigot. Gay or straight, we deserve equal rights, and I believe Christ was pro-quality of life, but even though I've tried to, I can't reconcile everything that's in the Bible. And I won't forget the crimes against humanity done in the name of Christianity, like the Crusades or slavery or all that bullshit that happens behind the pulpit, but even those inconsistencies or the blatant hypocrisy, doesn't tell me I shouldn't believe. Tells me that people are fucked up. <laughs> and that includes myself. So I'll never try to atone by throwing stones at someone else. And if I could meet him today, I'd say, God, I'm sorry for the way I've behaved and if I've disordered your message in any way, but I've got to ask you this one stifling dilemma. How could you create us in your image and then blame us for our blemishes? And I strive to live Christ-like. I don't do it quite right, I'm not perfect, but Sometimes sin is too easy. I'm just a lost sheep. Please just leave me and I'll follow. So while I seek these answers, I'll continue to pray on because faith and doubt are two sides of the same coin and we all bet on our beliefs. But please, don't look at me as a sole, sensible Christian. I'm not the exception, I'm more like the rule. But if you have never questioned religion or God's existence, I could question your intellect too. But who knows? <laughs>